one in three shareholders yeah. today voted against you. Have they got a point? Yes, I, I, I agree they've got a point. The events that have taken part in the last, shall we call it, three months, can't be very comfortable for them. Uh, you've got a 600 million Belgium tax investigation. You've got accountants not seeking re-election. That's, that's, that's a little bit too much for most shareholders to take. The fact I can sit here and say, we don't believe the tax investigation will be material. Um, I can't guarantee it because I genuinely didn't think it was an issue before. So and I, I don't know of any issues yet that are making that material as I sit here today. And if I did, I'd tell you. You then come on to the accountants thing. The accountants think obviously that red flags, but I can tell you those accounts are great. I'm trying to seek a top four accountant for the reason to show that there is nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide. Why would I fiddle myself? Absolutely not going to. But when the, the new accounting sort of world we're in and people are getting under scrutiny, Sports Direct creates a lot of attention, a lot of noise. I understand that's because of the 60% shareholder. But they should be queuing up, shouldn't they? Big orders want to no. take on a company like no, this? No, no, absolutely not. Why would they want the kind of scrutiny that I bring? Absolutely not. And by the way, let's challenge them. If you're not afraid of the scrutiny, come and do it. Come and do it, because what you're not, you're not bothered about my numbers. You're bothered about the attention that comes with me. You're worried about the scrutiny for your other clients. You're not worried about the scrutiny for me. You make light of it, but you might have the Secretary of State having to impose an accountant on you in a week. I mean, that is not comfortable, is it? Now, by the way, if it turned out to be a good thing, and, and the Secretary of State did a top four, I will still welcome it. Good. And let's see if all the other people that you audit are the same standards we are. Conservative, consistent, and simple. Let's see, if they had had that under Debenhams, do you think Debenhams would have been able to write off 600 million off their balance sheet? Sports Direct will not be in a position it has to write 600 million off because it would have already done it. So I issue the challenge again to the top four. Let's see, why not just do it for a year? Why not? Why don't you rotate it one year for each of you? I don't care if I pay two million in fees. Why don't you regulate one after another after another? I understand Deloitte can't do it because there are tax advisors and there's conflicts and rules. But what about the other three? Why not? There's a challenge to the auditors. What about Correct. to the, those who represent smaller um, pension funds, local authorities you know? Local authority pension fund not happy today. They represent, they say, ordinary people who might be losing money and are not happy about the governance. What, what would you say? To so that? the governance is a very, it, it's a very tricky thing. So I think Richard Bottom, the OBE, is a top, 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 non-exec. I, I, I do not accept. I didn't know him before. He, he came as a non-exec on the SD board. I actually don't think I know any but one of the, or two of the non-execs on SD. What will happen is that, 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 that I get the bit of the media, I'm not being rude, frenzy around the Mike Cashley football club owning. It's media, guys. It's panto villain time. Please, it's not the real world. And that extra media allows people to, if you like, sometimes throw stones that aren't justified. And I'm quite happy. I can't do more than welcome a top four auditor. I, I, what about the guy today? His name was John Gray. Why doesn't he come on, let's say, as we've already done Ken Clark earlier in a different interview, saying why doesn't he come on as a full-blown non-exec? Why doesn't John Gray come on as an observer? Why doesn't he join Sports Direct's non-exec board as an observer? If you think it's so wrong, come and sit there, but you have to stand up for Sports Direct when you realise that Sports Direct is just a panto villain. Stop it. Another question people have is about the overall strategy. Everyone else is running from the high street, yep. more buying up uh, distressed brands. One wonders yep. if there's one so distressed you wouldn't see it as an opportunity. Yeah. How convinced are you that that's going to work, given the changes on the high street and the changes in the way we shop? OK, so the, you, the answer is in your question. It's the way we shop. There is no question that retailing has changed in 10 years out of all proportion. There is no doubt that, the, as I call them, the clicks 
are destroying the bricks. The bricks have to do something different. They have to be the branded partners and show elevation in the high street that the brands that they represent want and somehow double up what customers want on the high street. You've got to join those two together. That's where the opportunity is. I believe, and I could be wrong, that we are absolutely well on the way to being the first sizable company to do that. I think, as I said, if you go to Leicester, if you're in here, you're seeing this elevation strategy work. And the best, one of the best examples of that is JD. Elevation is working. We're going to do it bigger and better than them. Simple as that. You mentioned a panto villain, and you yep. sort of play up to it a little, perhaps, sometimes, I wonder. Yeah, well, I think so, yes. Some of this is down to your personal style. OK. You're going to change? No, no, no. One thing, from when I floated, everybody knew I does exactly what it says on the tin. So why would I change? I, I'm not necessarily wrong. Compare me to Debenhams. With all the guidance, all the board, all the structure, all everything, and where did they end up? Shareholders, zero. We're still going, we're still in the fight. It might be the bottom of the 11th. I might have picked myself off the canvas twice, but I think I'm going to win on points. And, and that's what I believe. That you're, you're, it's a listed company now, but you're still running it in the same way you did when you were one store. That's not true. No, no, I, I wish it was as easy as one store. And I wish I probably could absolutely know everything that's going on in the company. Sports Direct across the different faces, countries, everything else is enormous. I can honestly tell people I had nothing to do with buying this building. Uh, I have nothing to do with the flannels elevation. I had very little to do with the SD elevation. But somehow, because it's a, a shareholder that's 60%, Everybody thinks I know everything. It's simply impossible. And just so we're clear, I don't pick the Newcastle team and I never have. <laughs> because that gets thrown at me as well. If you're me, that's where you get this, okay guys, Panto villain, just, let's just take that down a notch if that's okay.